Hello, my friends. So today I want to read this book called Bob and Larry's Creation Vacation. This week was Earth Day, and I thought, well, what a wonderful book to read with all my friends and talk about Earth and God's creation because God created the heavens and the earth. So I found this book. And it's one of my favorites. I love Veggie Tales and I wanted to share it with you. So the title of the book is Bob and Larry's Creation Vacation, Vacation by Karen Poff. Here we go. Okay. Bob and Larry love to go on vacation. This year, Larry has planned a special trip. We are going to go see all of God's creation, Larry told Bob. The two friends looked at a map. There they are, looking at the map. We can't do that, Bob said. We don't have enough time. Sure we do, Larry said. We only need seven days. Pack your bags, Larry said. We leave in the morning. On the first day, God made the light, Larry said. Bob and Larry sat on the beach. They enjoyed the light. It was a good day. Look at Larry and Bob's face. Is their, is their face letting you know that it was a good day? It sure is, look at those smiles. Later on that same day, Larry said, God made the night. Larry turned out the light. Ooh, that looks quite dark. I can't see their colors. Then Larry started to snore. It was a better night for Larry than for Bob. Look at Bob and look at Larry. On the second day, Larry said, God made the sky. And Bob and Larry flew like birds in the sky. It was a good day. Look at Larry, there's that big old smile again. He sure seems to be having a lot of fun. On the third day, Larry said, God made the blue sea. Can you think of any animals that live in the blue sea? Maybe crabs, whales, sea stars, sea cucumbers. All of those are great ideas. Bob and Larry swam in the ocean, and it was a good day. Look at Larry. He has all his equipment on. His snorkel, his flippers. Then later on that same day, Larry said, God made the land. It is good to be on land, Bob said. Happy to be out of the water. Look at that tree house. It must be fun to be up in a tree house, just like Bob. On the fourth day, Larry said, God hung the sun, moon, and stars. They give the world more sparkle, don't you think, Bob? Larry asked. It was a good day. Look at that. God created the moon, the stars, and this planet. Do you know what the name of that planet is? You're right, that's planet Earth. The planet that we live on. God made this planet for us to live on. On the fifth day, Larry said, God made the fish in the water. 
and the birds in the air, Bob said, as a pelican picked him up and flew away. It was not a good bird. Look at him. Look at Bob's face. Seems like he's saying, hey, what's going on in there? God made more than 10,000 kinds of birds, Larry said, and more than 28,000 kinds of fish. What animals do you see? I see a bird, a shark, a fish, another bird, another shark, a popper fish, a bird in the sky. I was wondering if that can count like a shark or a fish. God worked hard on day five. It was a good day. On the sixth day, Larry said, God made the creatures on the land. What is Larry using? Do you know what that's called? It's a magnifying glass to help him see the caterpillar a lot bigger. All of them, Bob said, from the littlest ant to the biggest elephant. Think about all the creatures God made that day, Larry said. Bugs and rabbits, turtles and deer, beetles and mice, starfish and owls. All the different animals God made. I see a squirrel, a ladybug, a snail, a spider. I see ants and beetles, deer, rabbits, turtles, owl, and a starfish. All of that God created. And later that same day, said Larry, God made man and woman. He named them Adam and Eve, Bob said. It was a good day. Look at that beautiful landscape. And God made all of this for you and for me to live on. And all of this can be found on planet Earth. On the seventh day, Bob and Larry were tired. They had seen all that God created just like God. They decided to rest. It was a great vacation. Look at them. They have a smile on their faces, but they sure are tired. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. The end. So God made planet Earth for you and for me to live on. So can you think of ways that you can keep our earth healthy and safe? All right, friends, thank you for joining me today. God bless you.